Today's video, we start with a hydration shot. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So I'm going to measure some blood pressure now. Okay, One twenty. One twenty over eighty. Systolic, diastolic. One twenty over eighty. I bet I could raise that. Have a guess how I raise that. Have a guess. <laughs> I want some deep ATM calories because increase your fat intake, increase your sodium intake, increase your blood pressure. As a cyclist, as an athlete, as a healthy person, you want to have healthy blood pressure. You want to have healthy blood pressure. Around 120 over 80 is good. Anything higher than that, you're getting up there. But you want to make sure when you do your blood pressure, you're calm and relaxed. A lot of people go to the doctors and they're all like... <laughs> And so they can get a, a false reading of the high blood pressure. It's going to be calm and relaxed. Learn how you take your own blood pressure. Be your own doctor. Don't do your own stitches. Though. Anyone can check their blood pressure at home now. It's quite easy. I like to be objective. People say, oh, my testosterone level's high. My blood pressure's perfect. My blood tests are great. Actually, I don't even do, I don't even do any blood pressure or blood tests or testosterone level checks. <laughs> do it on it, does they? Why? Because doing it on it wants to be fucking transparent. There you go. How's the room his blood pressure? <sighs> nice and easy. <clears throat> G'day! Welcome to the raw food lifestyle. Raw food diet's the best thing for your health. I have a PhD in bullshit under Dr. Morse. I am a qualified snake oil seller. I've even got a name badge. Look at that. Look at that. Pharmacy student. Dr. Duran Ryder. At your service. Qualified in all sorts of snake oil. Today's sponsored advert. We have the special enzyme drops. I just got to make a quick call. I just got to get a quick call about something. <clears throat> yeah, but hey, um, those those products. What's actually in them? You don't know either. I don't. What the fuck am I gonna tell them? And Ormus enzymes, pig adrenals. Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to appeal to the vegan market. I'm I'm claiming I'm a raw vegan. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking load of shit. But hey, they fucking believe anything. They believe in anything, they lap it up. What should I tell them? Doesn't matter about the ingredients. Just high quality, full spectrum enzymes. That's I'll just say that. That's close enough. Close enough. All right. Hey, is my affiliate link working yet? I don't know about that, man. I'm not going to promote it unless I get affiliates, man. It's all about the business. It's all about the business. Have I got the affiliate link going yet? Is it up? All right. And what's the fish oil sales this month? Yeah, it's funny, I don't promote it, but I fucking make a lot of money to sell on it. <laughs> they are fucking suckers. Alright, no worries, man. Thanks for that. I'll go get back to it, man. Doing an, info doing an infomercial now.
It's actually a YouTube video, but it's infomercial. It's a good way to market them. All right, thanks, mate. Sorry about that. Where was I in my infomercial? You should always eat your food raw. Have the more prana, more enzymes, more nutrition in there. That's what you want. The raw food diet, nothing else. You don't want to... I've been a raw foodist for 13 years. Well, actually, the last few months, I've been doing 100%, except for I do eat cooked nuts and all the supplements that take a cook, but I do 100% raw vegan diet, unless you include the eggs and the, the Reese's butternut cups that I eat now and then, but I'm trying to be legit now and straight up because I want to put out the illusion that I'm doing this because that's how you make the money. Doing right and freely, backup plans, that's because they're soft. I'm 100% raw, 100%, all the time, count on it. I just got to do one more thing. I'm sorry for these interruptions. But being a doctor of health, I need to check things. This is about business. Now I've got to check the pulse on this little card here. It's pretty healthy. Yep. Deep breath. Mmm, this is strong. This credit card's working really good. I just wanted to make sure. This is how we check your credit rating. We give it the, the health test. So we don't mind if you ask questions, but if you're not going to buy products, you can fuck off, pretty much. Now, how can we be a little more legit with our product? This, a lot of vegans are extreme. This has got animal products in it, maybe. We don't really tell us the ingredients because it comes under proprietary ingredients and according to FDA law, we're not legally obliged to tell you what's in it. Actually, we can say whether the fuck's in it. And because it's not FDA approved, it doesn't really matter. So we can sell you whatever we want. And if you judge us, we'll just call you judgmental motherfuckers. Simple as that. But hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm legit, man. You can trust me. I'll go to church on Sunday. I believe in the Lord. Amen. You can trust me. I'm legit. 100%. If selling snake oil makes me a huckster, I'm a huckster. Fuck it. I need the money. I'm a spiritual man. I need a lot of money. The more spiritual you get, the more enlightened you become, the more money you need. And this is why we market this stuff. Who gives a fuck about the animals? I'm here about humans. I want money, motherfuckers. And if you ain't got it, can you dig it? If you bird nests. Count the fuck up so you can pick up some bird nests and put it back in the bush. This was on the, on the road, it's blown out of some tree. So I reckon if I wedge it in this bush here, some bird may use it sometime. Who knows? Who knows? Well, that, eh? Nice little, little cubby house for the birds. Bit of a stash here. Bit of a stash. So tonight I'm going to have a 500 gram bang of pasta for dinner. Always drink some water. This is just a, an old coconut water bottle. It's water in here. Always drink some water if you're going to have a, any decent meal. Make sure you're hydrated. If you're having fruit, if you're having pasta, drink some water. About half an hour before your meal, 10 minutes before, half an hour. Make sure you're hydrated. Always drink before your meals. Look, 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 look. One of the reasons I have such amazing stamina is water. Drink your water before your meals. Eat big. Train smart. Train consistent. Get fit as fuck. No drugs, no stimulants. When you train about drugs, you can train for life. You can listen to your body more. Otherwise, you, like, I know professional cyclists like Jan Ulrich. Lance, I could smash Lance Armstrong today up Mount Washington. Guaranteed I put $10,000, I would beat Lance Armstrong up Mount Washington today. 100%. Jan Ulrich, smash him. Uh, who else was big names back then? Lauren Jalabu, I'd smash him. Um, pretty much all the big names who are similar age to me, once they retire, your body just, just drops right down because you just burn it out so hard, all the gear and that over the years, you pay later in life. So you just get this massive spike in fitness, and then 
comes right down. That's why I could beat all these ex-champions, similar age group to me, because I'm doing it natural. It's just like a tree in farming. If you give that mango tree heaps of chemicals, you get massive crops, but eventually the tree gets sick and it fizzles out, and the organic tree will produce more over time. So that's why I don't recommend using gear, because you're going to be paying back sometime, man. So I'd, I'd beat Avenger Berzine, um, Bjarne Reese, I'd smash Bjarne Reese up any climb like Mount Washington, smash him. But Duran Ryder would beat Lance Armstrong today. I'd beat Lance Armstrong, I'd put $10,000 on it. I'd beat Lance Armstrong up Mount Washington. Pretty crazy, isn't it? That just goes to show. Drugs work, but they ain't sustainable. I'm not saying Lance is a bad guy for doing the gear. Everyone at that level in all sports, all sports, if you don't dope, you won't cope. It's not just cycling, people. It's all sports. Where there's money and fame, shortcuts to be had. If you don't take it, you won't make it. I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying that's how it is. Keep your blood clean, people. Keep your blood clean, your body lean, and your mind sharp. There's a Henry Rollins quote. Done. Let's get some pasta on, eh? So that's with a bowl of organic corn rice pasta, gluten-free. I don't mind a bit of gluten now, man. Um, don't mind it at all. This is a bit of a pasta sauce. You can sort of see that. It's an organic, certified organic pasta sauce. ACO certified. Ingredients, water, organic tomatoes, organic tomato paste, capsicum, which is bell pepper, a bit of salt, onion, powder, chili, parsley flakes lemon juice sodium content about 390 milligrams per hundred so pretty salty but not you know trying to keep it around the 150 to 400 300 that's the goal but the thing is when it's I've got a bit more salt in it you don't need to use as much so my palate's very uh it doesn't like a lot of salt a little bit i can handle but not too much so this just helps the starch go down because starch isn't like fruit in that it's as as tasty as good quality fruit, but it's all good. So there we go. That's a pretty quick, easy meal, organic, vegan, high carb, low fat. Anyone can do pretty much. So about giving people some backup options. Pretty much anyone who's watching these videos can get access to organic pasta or some organic sauce, low sodium. You pretty much you can, can't you? Doesn't matter where you're living. I mean, sure, the fruit situation may be an issue. If you're watching this in Australia, anyone in Australia can get this sort of stuff from Coles, even, or Woolworths. So, we're making it easy for anyone. And if you want your organic fruits like us, you fucking know where to get those as well. We're giving people options. We're giving people options here, that's what it's about. When people have something that's accessible to them, versus going, well, one day, like, when I'm in a tropical paradise and live on an amazing fruit farm and spent $2 million building it up, then I'll eat a, a food, <laughs> food lifestyle or whatever. We're giving people something they can do now and maybe something they can aim at going up to the next level later on versus going, being on some sort of cloud and going, oh, I'm holier than now and, you know, oh, what I'm doing, no one else could do. Look at me. <laughs> so we want to give people realistic things. That's why we're being transparent. Being transparent. That's what it's all about.